There again, this is Arnie from Plumline, and we're in the Plumline showroom in Wellington. And today I'm going to show you how to replace a cartridge on a Como shower mixer. Now this is very indicative on all shower mixers, and so what I'm going to do is show you how that is carried out. So the first thing you're going to have to do is get a few tools. The first thing you'll need is an Allen key. I've got a set here, and you'll need a adjustable spanner and you'll need a just a wet rag so what we're going to have to do is ascertain what grub screw is holding the handle on you access it by the top there's a little cap here you need to pop off and sometimes there's a cap sometimes there is not depending on the model sometimes especially with the buddy units the handle is up the other way and so there's just a hole underneath because you don't see it now this one here this is a five millimeter a m5 grub screw so that means that it will take a 2.5 millimeter allen key so we'll select that one and the easiest way to get the cap off if you've got one insert the allen key underneath between the little gap here and the handle and you can just pop it out like so so that'll come straight out And then to take the handle off, you just insert the Allen key into the grub screw and wind it around. It shouldn't be too tight. Now that comes straight off. You can see the little grub screw in there. So put the handle aside. Now the wet rag is used if this is partially seized on or something like that. Sometimes if it is, it's, it's an older mixer. These can be quite uh, corroded on and a lot of just general debris might have seized it up or even calcium from the water as it gets in there after you shower after a few times. So we're just going to try this, this is brand new, but if you can't get it off you use a wet rag just to grip it. So I'll just do that again, so you go, it's just got to come off like that, Sim simple as just taking it off, just unscrewing it like so. So that's the, called the dress room. Then we'll need our adjustable spanner. Now first, please let me tell you, please turn the water off. The main feed off the water to the house, or if you've got an apartment, um, the water to your apartment. So this has got to be shut off from your mains. So as simply as now, I know this is a special adjustable spanner, but any adjustable spanner will do it. So you just adjust it to the, the correct size and carefully undo it. There will be a small amount of water that comes out, just dribble out, but it shouldn't be too much. So what I suggest is, what I what I normally do, is hold the, sometimes it will try and pressurise itself out and, and spit a bit of water out. So I just, as I'm unscrewing this, I hold, I hold the nut and just hold the cartridge like so, and pull that off and then just carefully release it and sometimes some water will, will come out and you just, wait till the water stops and then you pull it out like that so there you go there's a there's your cartridge it's very simple and looking inside the bore now this one is a display item so where those screws are are the inlet ports so hot and cold respectively and the top one is the outlet port that would go to your shower or it would go to a bath spout or whatever you've got connected to it okay so now we're just going to put this cartridge straight back in again and of course you have a look inside there, make sure there's no rubbish or anything like that, make sure it's cleaned out, maybe use your same wet rag, and then once you put that back in again, these little spigots here need to go at the top to correspond with the holes in there. So we'll poke that back in, and, you'll, and if you get it a bit wrong, you'll, you'll notice it'll click. So it's, oh there we go, it's clicked in now. So again, you slide the, the nut over, hold that back so it's nice and tight and it's placed in its correct spot and sometimes to get this nut going you have to turn it back anti-clockwise first just like a usual thread that's being a little bit stubborn and there you go to wind it on like so hand tight and get your adjustable spanner and normally from hand tight you can do it quarter to half a turn depending on how tight your hand tight is but if we just go nice and firm there is a certain newton meter rating. You can contact our technical team if you're a little bit unsure about that. And then the dress ring, I'd just recommend to clean it up a bit, clean the thread up. Sometimes you can put a little bit of uh, CRC or a little bit of WD-40 on the thread. If you don't have any, 
Uh, cooking oil was fine, everyone's got cooking oil. Um, so just, just a little bit of lubricant really. And then that slides over there. And that avoids future corrosion as well. So that just goes on hand tight. Don't use any tool to put this on, just hand tight. At this point you will need to turn the water back on and check for leaks. So go ahead and turn the mains on and come back and check the cartridge and also the outlets. When this is all good to go you can go ahead and replace the handle and the cap. And lastly we have our handle. So this goes over, slides over like so. Just have to make sure that we've got that in the in the position of. So that's that would be normally your hold and then it swings to that side and that's normally your hot. So we're just going to put this in the middle and then we know that that's the correct orientation. Push that on, insert your allen key. Now this again shouldn't be too tight, it's got a nylon spigot that it's going onto or a spindle. Fuse it with the, the, the long end so you haven't got much leverage and you can pretty much do it as tight as it starts to hurt your thumb. So that should be fine. And lastly, you've got your cap, if applicable. Now sometimes these, if they're a little bit worn or damaged from removing, you can put a tiny bit of uh, super glue on here first, and then just drop it in like so. There we go, so drop it or you can move it around if need be, but that's in. So I hope this helps. That's how to replace a cartridge on a shallow mixer. Thank you very much for watching and look forward to seeing you soon here in the Plumline showroom.